A lot of people have asked where I'm getting my fat. And um, so, um, one of the places is avocados. Um, I crisped up a tortilla and eat uh, guacamole um, instead of chips because chips are deep fried. So I make my own. That's the door to my RV. There's a woodpecker on it. Okay, he's gone. Okay, I'm on my way to the doctor to get the results of my blood test to see what she has to say about everything. And I'm going to talk to her about all the immense pain I've got. Um, not that I'm not used to it, but literally the second I went on keto a year literally it went away and just suddenly it came back full force and um, so and it used to be back you know a year and a half ago and for a few years before that it was at nighttime it didn't hurt during the day it was only at night and it was so severe that it would wake me up in the middle of the night and I'd be moaning in pain and um, now it's all the time so you know that's I I credited keto for taking the pain away but now I have no idea but anyway I'll let you know what she says Well, that didn't go well. Um, she wanted to put me on a statin. And I said I would like to wait to see because I, um, my um, numbers in my labs have gone down the last year which I attributed to the keto diet or a couple months before I um, had my blood test I had started taking the red yeast rice or red rice yeast or whatever that is because my doctor last year had recommended it but I didn't do it until you know a couple months ago so I told her I wanted to wait till my next blood tests and that I'm doing the um, low fat diet now just to see if there's an improvement. Also, she's, um, you know, I haven't seen a neurologist for my MS um, in about 14 years because I used to give myself daily shots and the side effects from the shots were worse than any MS symptoms I have and I took myself off them. I said, whatever happens, happens. I'm not taking these shots anymore. They were horrible. And um, so she wants me to go back to a neurologist and a rheumatologist for my pain. She suspects rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I asked her about, um, what's that called, fibromyalgia? And she didn't really comment on that other than to say she, she said it sounds like rheumatoid arthritis. So, a lot more um, doctor's appointments in my future. So, now since I'm out and about running around, I'm going to stop at uh, Walmart 
to pick up a little bit of groceries. I'm going through potatoes like you wouldn't believe. I'm telling you. You guys, this diet is kind of amazing. I feel like I'm eating all the time. And I've lost two pounds. Um, I'm eating a lot of potatoes and, and rice. And I'm loving it. I know that after a while I will get sick of them but for now I'm really enjoying this and remember I showed you the red um, the tomato bouillon somebody pointed out to me in the comments that that is not vegan I didn't even look at the ingredients when I bought that because it was in the um, the recipe so I just I bought it and it's chicken bouillon with tomato in it so that's that's out um, because I am trying to follow a vegan diet so um, anyway that's what's happening and the thought that the fact that that stuff has um, massive sodium in it um, so I'm you know, like I said, I'm cutting back on sodium. I know you can't, I know you have, everybody says you have to have salt. Yes, I know that. Um, I am not cutting out salt. I'm cutting out any added salt. I'm not salting my food anymore. Um, but if I continue with a vegan diet, I'm going to have to add some salt because I don't eat any processed food except like that bouillon stuff which I can't use anymore because it's chicken and um, also uh, I'm sorry you guys my head is spinning from just leaving the doctors I've got thoughts everywhere anyway um, I'm sure that the tomato paste that I put in the Mexican uh, rice probably has um, sodium in it I didn't really look but I'm, at this point, I'm not using any added salt. Oh my gosh, look what I just found at Walmart. Minute microwave rice. Southwest pinto beans with rice and vegetables. And look what it says right there. It's vegan. Now this one next to it, what sounds really good, um, doesn't say vegan on it. Um, and I do not see any animal products in that label, but they're also $1.88 per serving. So I can make it a lot cheaper than that. Um, but this is nice to know for, you know, food on the go. And here's another one. And these are non-GMO. I'm assuming you just pop them in the microwave. And these ones are $1.50, but they have about twice as much rice as the other ones over there. Okay, so I've decided to get creative and I'm going to throw together a rice dish. I'm sauteing some onion, carrots, and garlic in the Instant Pot. To this I'm going to add a cup and a half of rice. A teaspoon and a half of turmeric, one can corn, and three cups of vegetable broth. I'm going to give this a stir and put it on the lid and pressure cook it for on the rice setting. I am so bummed. I, I bought tortillas at Walmart today and got home and they're not in the bag. They're on the receipt, but not in the bag. I did, uh, 
my plan was to um, spread some of my refried beans on the tortilla and make use that for a burrito and bake it with um, salsa verde, you know, green salsa, and have a green burrito and or enchilada or whatever you want to call it. I guess burritos are dry enchiladas have sauce on them. Anyway, I'm really bummed. But that was my plan, and it was going to be wonderful. So instead, I'm having it in a dish. Yum!